What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is part two in a little mini series of doing some console interface design. In the first video, we used Adobe XD to design out a few screens for a video game console interface. And in this episode, we're gonna be using Adobe XD to not only prototype it, but link it to our actual game controller and navigate around in the prototype. It's gonna be a lot of fun, let's get started. Um, so we have our design and I have my Xbox controller already connected via Bluetooth and I'm just gonna jump over to our prototype tab in Adobe XD. I'm going to select an element like videos here, our little nav link, and I'm just gonna drag a connection over to the appropriate screen. At that point, I have just set a new tap trigger, but I don't want a tap trigger. I don't want a drag or a voice command. I want a keys and gamepad. And now you can see, I can literally just click on that little uh, input field there and move over to the right. I can assign it whatever uh, button I want, but I'm just gonna take the left kind of joystick or thumbstick and bump it over to the right. It says left thumb, to the right, great, that's really easy. We're gonna take the other one and we're just gonna left thumb to the left. And now I should be able to, if we click on our preview, I should be able to navigate back and forth. Now we're getting a little bit of funkiness because in our design, we changed the way that this state uh, or this call to action looked, right? So um, let's see, we wanna take this out and put that one back in. And now we should be able to prototype and go back and forth. Uh, we don't want to transition it, we want to auto animate it. And the same thing goes for over here. I don't want to transition, I want to auto animate it. Now we should see a little bit of sliding bar back and forth as things animate in and out. So that's super nice. So that just gives us that first initial bit of navigation, which is cool. Okay, now let's do the next part. Let's hide our preview here and let's navigate uh, to what happens if we press down. I wanna prototype the whole thing, I think, don't I? Yeah, I do. At this point, I wanna prototype the whole thing down to the next board. If I go down and then I want to auto animate that guy. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab the entire artboard, entire design there. And if at any point I press down, I want to auto animate. Let's see if that works now. I don't know, we're just trying things out. So back and forth, down, woo, look at that. So that kind of worked, looking pretty good. Now at any point, if I press up, I want this artboard to go back to our original start, like so. All right, and again, we always, if you zoom in and you see this little house right here, that is the start or the home of our prototype. So it'll always start off there. We can go left and right, we can go down, we can go back up. Looking pretty snazzy so far. Okay, uh, last one. Let's do this little bit of interesting animation. So I'm just gonna pick the background this time. We gotta grab that background though. We gotta assign that. Let's see, games and keypad. If we go down like that, we're gonna auto animate to uh, the very first, very first game. We should see, let's go down, down again. Oh, look at that. Now we gotta go back up. Right, so if at this point, here we go, let's go up, thumb up like that. Does that work? It does, look at that. Now the reason we're getting a little bit of this clipping and like it's not smooth in the animation is probably because I rearranged the uh, order of these guys. So in this one, we start with one on top and we go down. So this, we just need to fix that and bring one two, three, with four on top like that. Let's go back to our prototype. Let's try going down, perfectly smooth. And then the last thing we need to do here is we need to navigate between our games. So let's figure out how to do that. Let's take the whole thing, whoa. Let's take the whole, whole thing right here and navigate over. And we'll do that with a right thumb and we'll take the whole thing here and let's navigate back using a left thumb trigger, okay? So let's preview our animation. We're gonna go down to the game pass. We're gonna go down, over, like that. That's pretty cool. The only thing that I see, the problem that I see is the, uh, the big image in the background is a brand new image. So they're not like fading out 
uh, like as nice as we would hope, right? So to fix that, all you really have to do is take our big image. Let's come back to our design tab. Take our big image there, come over, click on our big image here. Um, and we probably wanna name this game two. And we're gonna copy it and bring it over and we'll drop it in here right above game one. And we'll take the opacity down to it, right? And then we want game one to be over here. And we're gonna paste it in right below game two again, but we want the opacity of game one this time to go down. So now they should fade nicely, just like that. And that is our entire prototype. We could literally take this prototype to like a meeting, to a presentation, and if we continue to link all the other ones, somebody could navigate around this whole thing. We could have, once you're here on this screen where the button highlights, if you tapped A, maybe it led out to some sort of product page, where you go down here and press A and it could launch like a, like a launching screen of Halo. Um, but that is pretty, Awesome, this is the first time I'm playing with it. I'm really, really digging it. So um, that is, that's, let's call that a day. Well, that's it for part two. Our design and our prototype is now complete and it's linked up to the game controller. That was actually a ton of fun. I like designing these kind of interfaces. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more design tutorials like this one in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and tutorials just like this one. So maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and having fun while you do it. I'll see you in the next one.